All right, so we invited the two of you here to talk about Trump's ability to raise the money to, to, to put up a, a strong fight in the general election. And, Fred, right. I want to start with you. What role do you think these types of uh, landmines or hiccups play in what you believe will be the big donors' um, hesitancy to, to back Trump? Well, I got to admit, it's, it's, it's a fun story. I saw the segment myself this morning, and, and it's something you want to watch. But it's tabloid stuff. It doesn't matter. It's, it's 20 years in the past. I don't think anybody really cares. And I think the big story of today, which will play into the fundraising, is the fact that uh, Trump has been able to bring the party together, to bring uh, a lot of allies together. I think Paul Ryan is on his way to be supportive. You heard uh, leaders in the Senate and the House and elsewhere uh, come out in support of him. And I think he's well on his way to having a unified party. And a unified party is the first step, the first really critical step toward raising the kind but of funds that he's going to need. Let me ask you, I've got to push back on that. You say that okay. this is 20 years ago, right? That's what Donald Trump said during this interview uh, on the Today Show. But Trump continuously brings up the uh, impeachment process of the 90s from the Clinton administration. That was 20 years ago. If one's relevant, so is the other, no? Victor, you certainly aren't going to compare an impeachment process of a sitting president with some tabloid if you're or basing it on may not have been if uh, you're basing it on when it happened, I certainly am because they happened in the same decade. If the defense is that's 20 years ago, well, the impeachment process was 20 years ago. Well, Kerry, let's 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 equate it on the substance. I I really don't think there's any comparison here. Uh, I don't think either one of them really are, are pertinent to the issues of today. The issues of today are, are so critical that I think focusing on this kind of thing just distracts. The real story is we, we, we are getting toward unification. Uh, he is starting to build a fundraising organization. Your other guest, I, I believe, is heading his super PAC. Yeah. He's going to have a very, very mammoth task ahead of him to build a nationwide organization to get the hard dollars into the campaign that he's going to need to be competitive. I think those are important stories. All right, Eric, let me come to you. You are co-chair of this Great America PAC, um, and we uh, read this weekend that uh, Sheldon Adelson, uh, who has donated tens of millions of dollars over the years, uh, will be backing Donald Trump. Uh, the New York Times reporting is that he could donate up to or more than $100 million dollars You've said that you've got a list of names uh, who will be uh, funding the pack. Is Sheldon Adelson one of them? Well, you know, we hope to have his support. We hope to have all of the support of, you know, the various you know, donors and grassroots that are part of the Republican Party. Uh, to go back to your earlier question, it sounds like Donald Trump's the nominee uh, for the Republican Party. And this is really just a, the playbook of, of, you know, Hillary Clinton. And this is why Great America PAC exists. We have to provide the necessary resources to push back on these types of, you know, sensationalized stories, uh, to push back on Hillary Clinton's war chest from the special interests and unions. So we hope to have Mr. Adelson's support. Uh, we're, we're grateful to uh, have the support of, you know, Stanley Hubbard, who's been in this game for a little bit as well. Yeah. And uh, we, look, we look forward to rolling out a, a great and robust operation but that Eric, consists of. You say that you need, uh, you need support, you need to fund Super PAC. However, Donald Trump himself disavowed your super PAC and all other super PACs. Guys, let's put up the uh, statement from October in which he said on his website, I'm self-funding my campaign, therefore I will not be controlled by the donors, special interests, and lobbyists who have corrupted our politics and politicians for far too long. I've disavowed all super PACs, requested the return of all donations made to said PACs, and I'm calling on all presidential candidates to do the same. The New York Times reporting from Jonathan Martin is, is that in a personal conversation between Sheldon Adelson and Donald Trump, there was this commitment of what could be more than $100 million. So is this not a conflict of what Donald Trump said just a couple of months ago? Well, Donald Trump's uh, never run for public office, and uh, he's witnessing what we all know. That's why we hired Ed Rollins, who's been part of nine presidential elections. We know what happens when you become the Republican nominee. You get attacked. You get attacked by a big war chest. And we want to level the playing field, and we're going to have the necessary resources to help him beat Hillary in November and also help with some of the down ticket races and the Senate races. This is a movement campaign that Donald Trump represents, yeah. uh, and the movement is with us. The excitement and energy is on the Republican side. Let me ask the you one more thing, though, here. Because on the Democrat. Donald Trump back in October also tweeted specifically about Sheldon Adelson. Uh, and if we have this, let's put it up. He tweeted, Sheldon Adelson is looking to give big dollars to Rubio because he feels he can mold him into his perfect little puppet. I agree. With $100 million on the line from Adelson now, 
Does Trump's logic apply to Adelson's decision now to give money to Trump, to give Trump the big dollars, that Trump now can be the little puppet? No, I don't think so. Uh, I, I think what Why happens not? here is, well, because, uh, you know, his, his point is, you know, we're not going to have, you know, a bunch of big donors trying to shape policy. And that's not what we're all about. He's already earned the nomination. We have, a, we have grassroots support. We have over 2 million supporters on small dollars. $25,000 small dollar contributors. This is a movement campaign. All so right. the folks that are going to join our campaign, they're going to help fund and energize and mobilize the support that already exists, the unique support that already exists for Donald Trump. The movement right. is on his side, and he'll win in November. Eric Beach, Fred Malik, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thanks for being with you. Thank you, Victor. Thank